My name is Elizabeth and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a cardio kickboxing workout. So the workout begins with a warm up, we'll do the workout itself, then we have cool down stretches when we're done. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to help contribute, you can go to my channel page and in the about there's a link for donations. Before we begin, I have a spirit lifter to share with you. It says, our love for others may be estimated by the way we treat them, how we speak of them, what we do for them when they are in need, and how friendly we are towards them. So this not only goes for people in your life that you genuinely love, say a spouse or your child or your parents, this goes for all people because we are supposed to love everyone. Now that can be very challenging because sometimes we have a very narrow point of view. As in, we think to ourselves, these people don't do anything for me, why should I love them? Or people do things that are irritating, such as acting rudely or cutting you off in traffic. Um, and even though people do these things, it's our job to love them. And the reason is because we're all here on Earth as a unit. Um, it, it, we are supposed to unite. We're all people and it's, all, it's a miracle that any of us are here. Um, that we were the sperm and the egg that made it, that every day people die and yet we are still alive and through all the hardships the earth has faced, we're still here. So we're all here together and when one person, which is you or me, when we are our best self, this starts a trend so that other people become their best self. So there's another phrase that says that the world wakes up one person at a time. So you need to start with yourself and waking yourself up and being the best, most kind, most loving, forgiving person you can be. And so with that being said, we'll begin our workout. The first part of the warm up is a scapular chest squeeze. And this is a good corrective exercise for posture, but it's also good for stretching out the chest and strengthening the back muscles, particularly between the scapulars or the shoulder blades, so here, and those get used a lot with boxing, so this is why I picked it. So you're going to start with your arms like a goal post, you're going to try to bring your palms and elbows together if you can, and then squeeze between your shoulder blades as you come out. So that's one, and we're going to do that for eight. Next part of our warm up is a hacky sack, and this is going to stretch the hips. So what you're going to do is you're going to kick your foot up, and if you want, you can use your hand as a focal point. And the motion is to look as if you're kicking a hacky sack. So we're in alternate for ten. And then we're on to our first exercise, which is going to be two pivot punches two side kicks and a double jab. So you're going to pivot and punch for two, two side kicks, and then double jab. So that is one, and we're going to alternate for our double jab for a total of ten repetitions.
exercise, which is going to be a lead hook, a lead body hook, and then a rear round kick. So lead hook, body hook, rear round kick. So we'll do that for eight and then switch. Our next exercise, which is jab, slip, cross, double round kick. So jab, slip, cross, double round kick. You can pick your round kicks anyway. I picked high low, but you could do two at the same spot. It doesn't matter. Try, if you can, to not put your leg down between them to challenge your balance for a little extra to work out. So we're going to do that six times and then switch. Our next exercise, which is going to be on the ground. So we're going to do a sit up, two hits, a sit up, two uppercut, and a sit up, two hook. And that pattern is going to continue until we have a total of 12 sit ups. So sit up, two hit, sit up, two uppercuts, sit up, two hooks. So let's begin. And we're coming up for a jab, a duck, an uppercut, and a front kick. So jab, duck, uppercut, front kick. So that's one, and we're going to alternate sides for a total of ten. to our cool down stretches. So the first thing we have is wrapped arms. I'm just going to stretch between the shoulder blades and the back of the shoulder. So you're going to coil your arms together. This is a good time to catch your breath because you're standing upright, I hope. Then we're going to 
going to do a leg cradle and this is going to stretch out the hips. So you're going to bring your leg up and hold. When you're ready, switch. And this concludes our cardio kickboxing workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth. And like, subscribe, and share.